This is the tutorial for Chapter 5, Section 2, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Substitution, Day Number 2. So let's take a look at our first problem here, and it says that we've got 2x plus y equals negative 7, and x minus y equals 10. So I don't have a variable by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and isolate one of the variables. I'm going to solve for x on this equation. It doesn't matter which variable you solve for. Any of them will do. The key is to get one of them by itself so that we can take the expression that it is and substitute it into the other equation. And so I'm going to rewrite that top equation, but instead of writing x, I'm going to write y plus 10. So the whole idea behind substitution and solving for uh, this equation is to get one variable in one equation. And so far we've got two variables in one equation, so I want to make that so I only have one. And now I have that. And so now I can go ahead and solve, and I've got 2y plus 20 plus y equals negative 7. So when I go ahead and add or subtract that 20 from both sides, and I'll go ahead and collect some like terms as well, I'm, and I end up with 3y equals negative 27. So when I divide by 3, I end up getting y at negative 9. So I'm not done yet. I still need to solve for x, so I'm going to take negative 9, Substitute it into that modified equation. So x equals negative 9 plus 10. So that makes positive 1. So I can check that answer real quick. Okay, my answer is 1, negative 9. And so I'll check that by substituting it into one of these equations here, see if it works. So I'll do my little check here. 2 times by 1 plus negative 9 should equal negative 7. And it does. See, 2 minus 9 does equal negative 7. That works. I can substitute into the other one as well. So I have 1 minus negative 9, which should be 10. Well, when you add the opposite, yes, that's what you get. You get 10 equals 10. So here it was negative 7 equals negative 7. So you can see the check and how it works. On this one, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for this x. So I'll subtract that 4y from both sides. So I'll take away 4y here take away 4y on the other side as well. So I'm left with x equals negative 4y plus 14. And so I'm going to take that expression, substitute it into that bottom equation there. So I have 3 times by negative 4y plus 14. And this plus the 7y equals 22. So I just substituted this expression that x is into the bottom equation, and I go ahead and solve by using that distributive property to start with. Negative 12y plus 42, let's check that, 42, yes, that's right, uh, plus 7y equals 22. So I collect some like terms right here, and it makes negative 5y plus 42 equals 22. So I'll subtract the 42 from both sides, and that's going to give me negative 20 negative 20. And I can go ahead and do that division, divide by negative 5, and we'll get our answer. y is 4. So now I take that 4, substitute it back in. I'll put it into this equation right here. So I've got x equals negative 4 times by 4 plus 14. So that makes negative 16 plus 14 gives me negative 2. So x is negative 2 when y is 4. Again, we can check the answer by substituting negative 2 in for x in that top equation that I haven't dealt with yet. Plus 4 times by 4 should equal 14. That's true. Negative 2 plus 16 does equal 14. So once you see that's the case, then you know you're right. So you can move on to the next problem. So let's take a look at another one here. It says that you buy a total of 50 turkey burgers and veggie burgers for $90. You pay $2 for a turkey burger and $1.50 for each veggie burger. So they want to know, write and solve a linear equation to find the number of X turkey burgers and Y veggie burgers. All right, so we have X plus Y is a total of 50 since there's 50 all together. <clears throat> they cost $90, or is what you spend, so each turkey burger, which is X, costs $2. So 2X plus the veggie burger is 1.5Y, and this totals $90. So I'll go ahead and get one of these variables by itself. I'll subtract this Y from both sides. And so now I've got this equation, X equals 50 minus Y. So I'm going to take that expression, substitute it in for x in the other equation. So I'll rewrite this as 2 times by 
50 minus y plus 1.5 y equals 90. So I'll go ahead and solve by using the distributive property. 100 minus 2y plus 1.5y equals 90. So I'll collect some like terms and move this 100 to the other side. So when I do that and I collect like terms here, remember they're opposite in sign, so I subtract. So I'm left with negative 0.5y equals negative 10. So when you divide by negative 0.5, and moving that decimal point over, adding the zero, so you can see that's really 5 into 100 goes 20 times. So y is 20. So 20, y represented the number of veggie burgers. So 20 veggie burgers. And now we'll go ahead and find the number of turkey burgers. So turkey burgers is x equals 50, the total minus 20. And so that gives us 30. So 30 turkey burgers. And that's what we've got. So let's move on to the next problem. And it says you sell lemonade for $2 per cup and orange juice for $3 per cup. You sell a total of 100 cups for $240. So we're supposed to write and solve an equation for the number of cups of each. So let's say L equals the number of cups of lemonade. Number of cups of lemonade and then we'll go with maybe J represents the number of cups of OJ orange juice and so let's go ahead and set up our equations we've got a total of a hundred cups so L plus J equals 100 and now my value equation two dollars a cup for lemonade so 2L Plus, and then it was $3 a cup for orange juice, so 3J equals $240. So I'm going to go ahead and I need to find the number of cups for each. And so I'm going to go ahead and subtract this J from both sides. So I've got this equation. It becomes L equals 100 minus J. And that's what I'm going to substitute in for L in the equation below. So I've got 2 times by... 100 minus j plus 3j equals 240. So when I go ahead and distribute now, I've got 200 minus 2j plus 3j equals 240. So I go ahead and subtract the 200 from both sides. And when I do that, I'm left with 40 equals j. So there it is. j represented orange juice, 40 cups of OJ is what we ended up getting. Now I need to find out how many cups of lemonade. So L equals 100, the total, minus the number of cups of OJ. So that's 60. So 60 cups of lemonade. So moving on to one other problem. And it says a structure uh, the structure. Uh, measure, the measure of the obtuse angle in the isosceles triangle is two and one half times the measure of, the, of one base angle. So this one right here we'll say. So these are the base angles. This is our obtuse angle. And so we've got two equations to come up with. We're supposed to write and solve a system to find the measures of all angles. So one thing we do know is we know what all the angles add to make. Since there's two x's here, we're going to say 2x plus 1y is going to equal 180 degrees. That's one equation. Another equation is going to be what they talked about here, the measure of the obtuse angle. So that's going to end up being y. And then it says is. Is means equals. And it says 2 and 1 half times the measure of one base angle. So this equals 2 and 1 half times the measure of one base angle. And so now I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in place of y in the equation above. So I've got 2x plus 2 and 1 half x equals 180. So I add these two together, I get 4 and 1 half x equals 180. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to an improper fraction now. So that's going to be 9 halves x. I get that by doing 4 times 2 plus 1 makes 9 over the denominator of 2. So now I'm ready to solve. I'm going to use 
the reciprocal to cancel out that fraction and do the same thing on this side and I look for some cross canceling. 9 goes into 180 we have 20 times multiplying across gives me 40 degrees. So x is 40 so if this is 40 this is 40 so I can find out what y is. And so we can go ahead and now subtract I could do use this equation up top 2 times by 40 which is 80 plus y equals and then 180 so subtracting 80 from both sides gives me y at 100 so 100 degrees is what y is where x is 40 those are the types of problems you're going to see on tonight's homework good luck